Hey, good morning. Wake up. Sometimes I need that in the morning. Sometimes I, I need someone to come in and just be, excuse me, just be a drill sergeant. Just, hey, get out of bed. That is what I've needed today. My phone holder, the thing that you're sitting in right now, is not installed properly. And that's why you've got this wonderful angle. So, good morning. <laughs> Man, I did not want to leave the house today. I wanted to sit in my chair and maybe I'll get to work. Maybe I'll learn this thing. Maybe I'll read this book. Maybe I'll avoid squats. Maybe I'll stand up and walk myself to the car and get to the gym because you're just making excuses and the longer you wait, there's going to be more traffic. You're going to make another excuse to not go to your car. Get up. Go. Go now. Or you won't go all day. And then you'll be sitting at home unable to get your work done because you didn't expend energy to take care of your body and your body is going to be sending you those signals of like, ah, I can't focus on this right now. And go to the gym. So I went to the gym. I stood up, walked to the car, drove on in, got under that bar, squatted the weight down, and then I realized at the bottom of the squat that these... Let's just say 20 pounds felt like 100 pounds. Give you a, a general idea of, of weight distribution there. Luke squat. Nothing. <laughs> no, seriously. If, if 20 pounds felt like 100 pounds, you get how I felt as I was working out this morning. It's just my body was not in it. It was not into working out. It was like, hey, uh, I wanted to sit at home. Maybe eat some food. And you're making me move and expend energy and really exert myself. It's like, yeah, that's right, body. Because we've done this dozens of times before. I like working out first thing in the morning. And then I come home and eat plenty of energy. It's never affected my lips before. Today, I mean, that's probably a lie, right? It's probably affected me before. I've been tired. I've exercised in the past. And then you exercise like day two and you feel a little less energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not an issue nine times out of ten but today you, excuses going to the gym and then you're in the gym excuses there and i pushed myself through it okay so lower the weight a little bit get your reps done do your cardio don't make an excuse and go home early do the cardio <laughs> now you leave okay now you can go home eat your food now you can sit down and actually work it's great. That's where I'm at now. Good job. Okay. I've built up some momentum. I've gotten the things done I need to get done to take care of myself and be able to focus as I'm working throughout the day. I've got 15,000 words I need to edit today because later chapters in my book are longer than previous chapters because details and stuff. Uh, and it is actually really cool. Um, I'm editing this first book and... Uh, it's interesting to see the progression of writing skill because the early chapters I was writing about a year ago, so they need some more fleshing out. They need a lot more organization help as I'm editing it. It's uh, it's really fascinating to see how I've grown as a writer over the last year. So, it, it, like, hey, good job, Luke. You grew in skill. That's great to see. The crappy part is now if, if I'm editing three chapters a day... <laughs> Each chapter is a buttload more of words. Because <laughs> I, I, it doesn't necessarily mean that more words equals better writing. No, no, no. I like being concise. Uh, succinct writing is a blessing. Okay? Is, isn't it like brevity is the, the heart of wit or soul of wit or something like that? Like keep it short. Okay, Make your point and move on. But if you've got a lot of points to make, flesh it out, my friend. So my, my point is, I can go in and do that work now. I can actually make it through those, those 15,000 words today. I can actually get that done and move on to the other stuff that is on my to-do list. Because I forced myself to act rather than giving in to those excuses in the beginning of the day. And that 
is the whole struggle right there. It's like, what are you going to do with your day? Great. You've planned it out. But now you have to kind of kick yourself <laughs> because your brain is so good at coming up with reasons to not act, to stop, to just like, Mm, eh, I can do it later. No, you can't. There is no later. It's 9 a.m. now. It's going to take me between one... It's not going to take one. Between one and six hours to get the editing done, okay? And then you've got three hours of work stuff to do. You've got some jobs to apply for. You've got some clients you need to make happy later this evening. Like, plenty of stuff to do. And if you don't start now... It won't get done, and you'll go to bed with either yourself disappointed, a client disappointed, your book unedited, so it gets pushed back another day for publishing. Like, what are you doing? Like, get up, get the stuff done. Even if, like me, you had to take some weight off the bar to get your squats finished, take the weight off the bar, get them finished. You're, you're reinforcing those patterns of behavior, those habits of delivering results to yourself. Okay? You're you're not going to the gym saying like I am going to squat 225 every time. And that's what? Who goes into goals like that? I I understand powerlifting. I I get that. That's not what we're touching on. The point is that you actually go do the exercise. The point is that you're actually working out. You're actually following through with what you say you're going to do every single day. I'm going to edit these words. You're going to go to work every single day. You're going to make your kids breakfast. Whatever it is. What if you wake up one day and you're just like, yeah, I don't feel like making my kids breakfast. Well, if they're not of an age where they can take care of themselves, what you're really saying is, I'm going to fail my kids and let them starve. <laughs> you're in the first world. They're not going to starve. They'll be fine for a few hours. But the point is the same. These are... These are habits that you're working to build in your life. And if you were to make excuses and, and leave them by the wayside, your life will be of drastically a lower quality because of it. Don't give in to those excuses. Don't let your life fade to that lower quality. And that's kind of an extreme case, not feeding your kids. But think about what would happen if you don't feed your kids, right? In the very short term, they're going to have a tantrum. If, if you're not feeding them because you want to sleep in, they're going to wake you up. Uh, in the long term, you're going to lose your kids. Someone's going to come and confiscate is not the right word. Uh, repossess, not the right word. But you get the idea. You're going to lose custody of your kids because you're not feeding them. And if you don't feed them long enough and they're not taken from you, people die when they don't eat. Okay. Like I said, very extreme example. Very extreme. Sorry, folks, if that's a little graphic. But it's the same with your dreams. It's the same with what you want to get done in your life. If you don't follow through with the habit, if you don't make it a habit, make it a, an everyday thing that you work on, then your dreams will starve to death. And your life will be of much lower quality. Don't lose your kids. Don't lose your dreams. Don't give in to those excuses. <laughs> Stand up at 7 a.m. and say, I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to go work out. I'm going to have the best day ever and get this work done. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this finds you in a good place. Please don't starve anyone ever at any age. Maybe, you know, like that's not a good idea. And uh, treat yourself well. Please have a good day. Treat yourself well. Thank you for watching. Bye.